However, this video is mainly a test video to uh, see how well it goes to record audio and video with my Canon EOS 1000D. Uh, I'm going to try to put everything together in virtual dub and I'm recording using the EOS camera movie record program. Uh, I thought I'd do, do this video to show off my a little project I've been working on. It's this uh, lead acid battery desulfator. Uh, it's built uh, around the so-called rough 10 kilohertz design and um, it appears to be working quite well. I also built this little 200 milliamp 13.5 uh, volt uh, float charger using an old wall wart and uh, an L200. Right, uh, I've got the out, uh, my oscilla oscilloscope connected across the battery terminals here. As you can see, I'm sorry if it's a bit shoddy. I I don't have any autofocus whatsoever on this thing. Yes, you see, the desulfate is connected onto the battery, the oscilloscope onto the battery and if we follow our cord we'll find my scope up there. Uh, just a moment, allow me to get the camera looking at the scope and we'll take a look at what we have across the battery terminals. I should point out also that uh, this uh, the sulfator is built completely from junk box components. Uh, there's really no new components at all in it aside from the microprocessor I used. Uh, yes, this is a bit tricky. I did not think this through as well as I should have. Perhaps this is more suitable. Ah, yes. Ooh. A bit less light. A bit more. Oh, scopes at maximum. There we go. There's some kind of focus on that. Well, yeah, as you can see, uh, here the MOSFET turns on. Ouch. Ow. You just got a shock from him. Well, and the MOSFET turns on for a while. Should be quite exactly three microseconds on. Uh, perhaps I should use something to point with. Yes, there we go. This should be roughly 3 microseconds. And then it turns off and we see the voltage spike from the coil here. And finally some ringing in the battery and cables and whatever. Yes. If we look at this uh, one battery, we are at 0.1 volt per division. If we get the grid on, we can see we have uh, there we have half half a volt, one volt, and we have roughly two volts of ripple going across this battery. And I've measured the desulfator to be able to put out about five and a half amps of current peak. I'm sure it could be improved if I put some more time into it, which I'm going to, so uh, perhaps you can expect more videos on this subject in some time to come. Yeah, that, that is my battery desulfator. Uh, here's the... Uh, oh, more. More light, please. Come on. Here's the 
wallwort. The solder side of it. It's got a little LED there to indicate that it's plugged into the mains. I think it's from some old uh, set top box. And uh, here's the battery I'm working on. It's an old moped battery that has been quite badly neglected. It couldn't even start the moped it belonged to when I got my hands on it. And um, here's the uh, desulfator itself. Uh, yeah, I should show you the startup sequence. It's got a white LED that you can see flashing there. And if I turn it off and turn it back on, it'll flash two times to indicate that it that the processor has uh, started up and is running its code. And well, that at least the pin used to put out current to the LED LED is working. And around the back here we've got to I've got to unhook the scope there whoa trying to break it already around the back we have a battery compartment this speaker used to be battery powered but if we look inside we can see a couple of things we have a fuse of course 6.3 amps slow blow we have a idiot diode uh, it can handle about 60 amps so I think it should suffice to blow the fuse if I hook it up the wrong way and uh, I didn't think about connecting a float charger to this when I built it into the box so I just uh, cut an old Molex <laughs> plug from a computer power supply and soldered it onto the idiot diode to provide a Flow charger connection, and uh, it is built so that uh, the flow charger is uh, connected, uh, whether or not the uh, the desulfate is running or not, because uh, oh, you see the red cable right there, kind of hard to see. It's going to the straight to the battery, and uh, then it can oh. Oh dear, my dog is moving. I I'm sorry. Whoa. She's kind of big. Yeah, anyway. The. Mm, uh, where oh, yeah. The uh, battery comes in through this. It goes to the, through the fuse, becomes a yellow wire. Then it goes to the idiot diode and the flow charger. And from then on, there, there on, it. Uh, proceeds inside of a box to the power switch on the front and from there onto the uh, actual desulfator. Yeah, that would be quite about it really. There isn't too much to say about it. Uh, it runs at 10 kilohertz and uh, that is, I've noticed with the configuration I'm using it, that seems to be a rather low uh, frequency I think I could actually boost that frequency at least twice I think uh, because we there's a lot of idle time uh, if, if when I look at the scope so I think I should be able to boost the frequency quite a bit so yeah there's might be some input on that later on well see ya